Good morning to all. Your Excellency Dr. Ahmed Al Bedrani, representative of the Prime Minister of Iraq and Minister of Culture, Tourism and Antiquities, survivors and families of the victims, representatives of the Iraqi Parliament and the Government of Iraq, representative of the Kurdish Regional Government, representatives of the UN agencies and the diplomatic community in Iraq, representatives from civil society organizations, NGOs, community leaders, media, academia, all protocols. Distinguished guests, echoing the sentiments of my colleague, I would also like to offer my deepest condolences and sympathies to the Yazidi community and to thank them for including the UN and IUM family in their memorialization ceremony. As we gather here today to mark the opening of the Yazidi Genocide Memorial, we immortalize and honor the countless Yazidi lives cut short due to religious persecution by Daesh. Where there is life, there is hope. Despite enduring the world's worst atrocities, the Yazidi community has remained true to itself and its beliefs. We take inspiration from your resilience and strength and recommit our support to ensuring a brighter and peaceful future, one without violence and persecution. Little can compare to the collective grief and pain the Yazidi community has endured. Not just in the last decade, but since the beginning of its recorded history. As we walk around the memorial site, we're confronted with the deepest sorrows and the immeasurable pains the community has faced in systematic attempts of annihilation. Remembrance is the foundation of peace. As we inaugurate this memorial site dedicated to Yazidis whose lives were taken in the genocide that started in 2014, we reiterate our support to the community, whether it is to safely return to their ancestral lands or to build a new life in a new location, safely and with the adequate resources necessary. For the past decade, the IUM has been a close partner of the central government of Iraq, the Kurdish regional government and local communities in Sinjar to support the safe and dignified return of the displaced population through facilitated voluntary movements and provision of basic services aimed at bringing back life and food in Sinjar. IUM stands together with national authorities in their efforts to provide timely provision of individual reparations and the coordination of other transitional justice to address the horrors of Daesh genocide and crimes against humanity, as outlined in the Yazidi survival. Reparations and transitional justice are not only important as the official recognition of suffering of the Yazidi community, but also for the collective healing of the country. Despite the various challenges and competing priorities, IUM will continue working for Sinjar and the Yazidi population. Our commitment to the community remains steadfast. We stand with you in every step of the way. Once again, I would like to express my heartfelt sympathies and condolences to the Yazidi community and our sincere appreciation to the authorities our partners and of course our teams on the ground for the <laughs>